Hey there, Salvador here with Detailers Growth, and today I am met with Jadiel of Berkshire Auto Detail. How are you, man? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Awesome, man. Thank you for making the time to sit down and go over your experience as a client with us. First thing I do want to mention is you came on board a little over two weeks ago, and you've seen some amazing results since then. We'll go into the results here shortly, but can you tell me about what business was like before you came on board as a client? Yeah, I mean, the winters are pretty tough. I'm in the Northeast in Massachusetts where it snows a lot or it gets cold, freezing temps. So winter time is a challenge. It's my third winter in business. The first winter I had an employee and it was rough to keep enough business in to hot to employ him and pay expenses. This winter, it didn't snow as much. I'm a little bit busier than last year. But the winters, people get scared to come in, but really yeah. they're protecting their investment. So it's just trying to get that marketing communicated better for people to protect their vehicles now where it's brutal. Yes. Yeah. I know in the previous winters, it can definitely get rough, especially if you get those winters where it's more dragged out. Luckily, this winter was more of a, I would say we had a lot of snow come in for about a week. And here in Washington state, most of it is like melting away because it's raining also. So that's definitely helping. So great. So this is your third winter in business before it wasn't super predictable or super steady as a business, okay. correct? Yeah, not, not after October, it kind of slowed down a bit. I w I'm still full time year round though, but trying to juggle my expenses throughout the year to stay afloat. It's a little bit difficult. Yeah. <clears throat> But last year, I've really put good systems in place financially to pay myself and pay expenses and stuff. So I, I really think we're going to hit it out of the park this year with you guys. Love it. Love it. So up until recently, was the majority of your revenue coming from just regular detailing, maintenance clients, but not so much with the coatings? Yes. So, man, my first year, I did probably about 40, 50 coatings, which is good. Not marketing. I didn't market it. Last year, I probably did a lot less, but I did more volume. And by volume, not the kind of volume detail you're thinking, right? But yeah. I did more detail, <clears throat> more interior, exterior, and maintenance than coatings. And so this year, I want to change that up. And I'm already seeing, I mean, in two weeks, yeah. I got like 40 leads. That's crazy. Like, I did not think I could get those leads and solid ones, too, from Facebook just the way my clients are and my experience in the past with Facebook was never great. So I was very, very skeptical on how Facebook would be successful as you know. Yeah, man. I remember our, we talked early January and then that was just the initial phone call. And then you scheduled another call right before you pulled the trigger to come on board with us. And I remember that conversation you were I wouldn't say skeptical, but you were just, you know, like, hey, let's give this a shot. Super hopeful. And it's amazing to see that it's panned out very nicely in such a short period of time. So real quick, you came on board January 8th, 2024. You booked about $2,000 in coatings within the first week and then a little over 5K the following week total. Yeah. So you're a little over 5K in about two weeks tell me about yeah tell me about what those leads were like and like just your experience after we kicked off that campaign so what the leads are like well it's a adrenaline because your phone's dinging is like lead newly 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 it's like what you know i'm on, yeah. on the phone call the limits people up every day it's nice because they're coming to me and some people are price sh shopping. Some people are waiting till spring and I have a good rebuttal for that. But these people are interested. They're more willing to come in person so you can see the vehicle. That's, that, you know, that's my process, right? To sell in person. Did that answer your question? Yes. Yes. So it sounds like these are people who, you know, the, the people that you're able to book is amazing because they're ready to pull the trigger. They booked. But the other leads, right? I wouldn't say they're they're definitely not leads that are unclosable, right? It's just a matter of timing. 
And we can yeah. always hit them back with a text blast or an email blast come springtime when it's time to circle back around with those people who might not be ready to pull the trigger in January, but we have ways to incentivize that through our sales process. So can you walk me through what it was like coming on board as a client and then kind of getting access to the sales training aspect of things to kind of give you more structure around how to structure that conversation with that ceramic coding lead, how to answer the questions, right? To really guide them to a well-informed decision. Yeah, so my experience in the past with advertising agencies was very almost kept in the dark. You know, I didn't know what was going behind the scenes, didn't really see much analytics, which I'm a very technical guy. I like to see things written. I, I like charts and all this kind of stuff, right? Yeah. Um, I like the CRM. Yeah, so, you know, right off the bat, the onboarding was great. What really impressed me was the CRM, you know, the Detailer's Growth app, where you can see your dashboard, all your contacts, conversations, take payments through there, the marketing, the social media planning. I thought that was super cool. I, I mean, it like blew me away for the value that what I'm paying. You know, <laughs> you're not just paying for marketing on Facebook. You know, it's like way more. Like it yes. blew me, especially the client resources. I really, like the first day I listened probably to 12 um, sales coaching videos yes. while I was detailing. That's all I would listen to. And I'm, I'm like that. I listen to podcasts, audiobooks. Yeah. So I just had those one after the other. And I actually listened to probably like five of them before I even started doing business with you because I was so intrigued. And what got yes. me was the free Zoom, the free Zoom. With well, Orbis X? Yeah, yes. this free coaching call that we did with Orbis X. We did this the first week of January. Yeah, so I was like, oh, okay, you know, I, who's Sal? You know, I, I messaged you <laughs> last year and it felt like a breakup. I just broke up with this agency. I'm going to wait. And that, yeah. that was super imp impressed with the closed more codings courses, the client resources, the scripts that you guys have written out that make it really easy to do voiceover videos. I mean, it's basically a cheat sheet for your business in terms of like how to create videos, what to say. Those templates are awesome, like for real. Love it, man. The email marketing templates really impressed me too. Yeah. So just to kind of recap and, and give people watching this a little bit more context. So when you come on board with us with Detailers Growth, not only will we run your ads, but you also get access to our Close Mark Coatings sales training program. And if you're a part of the Orbis X group, I highly encourage you to just join the Facebook group because we're trying to do this every month, but eventually we we'll want to do it every other week, you know, a regular cadence. So if you're seeing this on YouTube, join the Orbis X Facebook group. It's a great CRM that I have no affiliation with, but Sean and Aaron are both super great guys. And that's the CRM that we always recommend, right? Because our CRM is not meant to replace a CRM that you're using like Orbis, Orbis X or you're able our CRM just really shines with following up with leads, doing a lot of that heavy lifting and taking that heavy lifting off your shoulders. But yeah, if you're watching this, join the Orbis X Facebook group because you'll see what we're talking about with those coaching calls, right? We, we try to do them every month and it's just a great way to see, you know, where you can improve because a lot of people who submitted and joined that free coaching call, they hadn't offered coding. So they didn't really understand what it was like to sell coatings, what it was like. So that gave them a lot of great insight. And then when you also come on board as a client, you get access to all of our sales training material. with over 40 videos in there just on the trainings, plus all of the coaching call recordings from the past. And that's what we're talking about here. So yes, it's amazing because you get access to all of that right away. Right. There's no wait period. In fact, we encourage you to dive in like you did and just soak up as much as you can because we have guys in there who are taking different approaches to sales. You, you get unique questions, right? Tactical feedback from guys actually running shops, right? This isn't high level generic information. This is nitty gritty. Here's what to say. Here's what to do. And I'm glad that you were super eager to learn that. And that's exactly the kind of client that we'd like to partner with is somebody who doesn't expect the marketing to do everything right, 
running a really successful Facebook campaign will not transform your business. It's everything that happens after that lead comes in that will. And that's exactly what we teach and emphasize. So yeah, man, what kind of information have you picked up that you began using from the Closed Mark Coding's sales training program? What haven't I used? Love um, it, man. I think being more bold in sales, listening to Aaron and um, what's that guy out in Canada? Patrice. Yes, him. And just listening Patrice. to like sell and like what they would say is like, oh, okay, of course, of course I can say that. Be bold. And I mean, so this is how I look at it. If I'm paying for these people to contact me, that's essentially what I'm doing. Yes. Right. I right. put a dollar figure on them. And be like, am I going to lose 15 bucks or 12 bucks or seven bucks from this guy? No, I'm going to push hard. And my wife should be like, no, 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 baby, you sell it like <laughs> it's too harsh. And I said, no, it's not. This is how you become successful in selling. And I see it in Aaron and like, yes, and just like, hey, think about it. Why do you want this? Like being bold that way. Um, yeah. It's one of the main things I've gotten. I love that. I love that because, yes, I think. Having a good framework for how to structure that conversation with the lead, super helpful, helpful, but you'll see as you talk with more leads that it's just going to come natural. Like you're going to have not necessarily like ways to overcome objections, but we're really heavy on preventing those objections in the first place. But if something new comes up, you know exactly how to navigate that question that that person may have. Because at the end of the day, we're just giving them all the information they would need anyway. They're going to be doing this research on Facebook, on Google, reading blog articles, watching YouTube videos. But like I always say, it's not specific to your business. And that's exactly what that sales process highlights is here's everything you need to know. Here's the price. Let's get you scheduled in. So yeah. it, it, at a high level, it really is that simple. Yeah. One thing also was like the building a framework and selling, listening to these guys like Khalil and Aaron and then like how the step-by-step -step approach to like a conversation in sales and what questions to ask and figure out was their pain point, why they want to buy, why they don't want to buy. I'm presenting your services yes. specifically for them and not be reactive, but be proactive. Yes, 1000%. You know? And it only helps when you have such a great reputation behind it. Like, you know, you're not new to business, right? You've been in business for three, a little over three years now. So you understand what business is like, but now we're just kind of shifting that expertise to a more high ticket service. And naturally with that high ticket service, it's going to be harder to sell just because the price point is a lot higher than a traditional detail. Mm -hmm. But the benefits of it is once you lock in that sales process, it becomes predictable, which is what you're seeing and what you will continue to see heading into spring and summer, which is what I'm super excited about. Can you talk about why learning sales is super important when you come on board with us? Important in general or important to me? Important in general and to you. Well, there's so many leads coming in. Like, what are you going to do? You're not going to sell to them? <laughs> yeah. It's like a no-brainer. You have to learn and Learning is like a everyday ongoing journey. Yeah. And that's what it takes to really get your business to that next level yeah. is you can only rely on friends, family, organic Google search for so long, right? That can only take you so far. Then afterwards, I mean, don't get me wrong. I think it's amazing to have a good Google presence, a good SEO, right? I think that stuff is amazing. But to take your business to the next level where you can invest into new employees, invest to a bigger shop, right? All of those things, you're going to have to have a predictable way to get those people coming in, not just every month, but each week and every single day. And that you need a good framework to help turn that lead who's just, you know, maybe they're expressing interest. Maybe they don't know exactly what it is you offer or why they should choose you versus somebody down the road who's a little bit cheaper, right? So that's kind of where we focus heavily on educating somebody to make that informed decision because the, the decision is ultimately on them. But if we can give them all the information they would need, it becomes more clear who's the right choice, right? And it's good that they can, that they pay a little bit extra because they're going to get that reputation that you already have, right? They're going to get the quality of work that you already have. And all of those things definitely help. So I don't know... How long it was that you thought about working with Detailers Growth? Was it 
it was over a year. So what kept you from working with us for that year? You, you mentioned that you were working with a previous agency. You were like, man, I'm not ready to go into another, you know, work with another agency. But what was the underlying hesitation there? So I lost a lot of money, man. Like, and it's probably minuscule compared to other shops, but your business is your baby and you want to maximize your profit, right? But I lost thousands and thousands of dollars with an ad agency not being able to track. You know, I, I was told, yes, you know, this can be tracked and you can see how much money you got from this stream, from Google ads, from Facebook, Instagram, from whatever, right? And none of it was there. And so I was like, dang, I spent 10 grand a month. Yes. And I don't know how much I made from it. I don't know what was most successful. I don't know which ad group performed the best. Or <clears throat> And so that really made me more cautious on who to hire. It was either you guys, some other detail-specific companies, but they were just out of my budget. But like... I would see you on Facebook and I didn't really know where you came from or like who does business with you. Right. Or, you know, cause that does play a huge role in seeing success for yourself potentially. Right. I know right. Aaron and I know a couple of other guys that, that you've worked with. And that was one of the huge, like moving huge things that moved me to to do business with you guys was seeing like my acquaintances in Orbis X group be so successful and I'm like damn how how do they get this much work and little did I know they've been doing business with you for forever and I guess it wasn't publicized it doesn't have to be but seeing yeah. them on one side like dang they're successful how how do I get this business and then in that group well, there they are. I'm like, dang. And then the catalyst was really, okay, it's the new year. And I, I already have my goals for this year. How am I going to get there? Yes. You know, I want to make $200,000 per year or whatever your number is. I need this much coming in monthly, this many details in per, per week, this much to, to make per day. And I can't do it by myself. You know, I can't juggle you know, ads, marketing, doing business, communication, you know, doing all this. So I had to give you one hat to bring yes. this work in, you know. And so those were the two catalysts was like realizing I need to make a change for this year. I need to get more, more work. And these guys know what they're doing, right? These guys, I see these guys work with these guys and they're successful. It's a no brainer, you know, why not? Yes. Love it, man. I love that. Yes. Because a lot of that, a lot of what you're seeing, like somebody watching this interview, what you're seeing is the right sales process in place, the right advertising in place, the right follow-up system in place that we've already dialed in. We've spent the last, man, I've been marketing in this in industry since 2018. In the first two years, it was just focused on detail campaigns. And then shortly I realized, Ceramic coding is the way to go. So we pivoted and this is all we focus on for the majority of the time. And I think a lot of that trial and error, we were just working out up until like this time last year is really when we dialed it in and just put more gas on the fire. But a lot of that was just testing, testing different ads, different videos to see what works, what doesn't work. And then we just created a process around it where somebody comes in, we lay it all out. And it's a mutual partnership in that we've done that testing and we're going to continue to do that testing, right? We give it to you, I would say, in a very easy to understand, presentable way. And it only works if we both play our role, right? So yeah. I think that leads me to my next question, which is, what do you like most about working with Detailers Growth? Well, I really in enjoy the weekly calls and I was late last week or yesterday. But I really enjoy those because it's like a community of businessmen or women that need help, right? And it's a community where you can ask questions and really get that support to keep selling the, the, the leads that are coming in. That's one of like re a really cool feature I like. Another thing would be the support from you and the team. 
I like the CRM, the online aspect, just seeing everything organized. That's one of the yeah. main <laughs> things for me. Like I need to see these people coming in. I need to see, you know, structure, which I, I didn't get before. Yeah, those are the three things is the community of support and the online. Love it, man. Love it. So let's say somebody's watching this interview on YouTube as an ad, whatever the case is, and they're on the fence. Maybe they've booked a call. We talked with them. They're still chewing it over. They're trying to decide whether or not we can actually help them. So what would you say to somebody who might be on the fence? They're just not sure. They've worked with other agencies in the past, but they're just not sure exactly if we'll be the right fit. Or let's say that person is just on the fence with working with us. What would you say to that person who's on the fence? Jump over and, and start. <laughs> the results were pretty insane. Like whenever I asked you, how many leads per day should I expect? And you were like one to three or one to five. I looked to my wife and I just smiled like, what? That's possible? Ceramic coating leads per day. Next three to day. five ceramic coating leads right. per day. So we talked on a Tuesday. By Wednesday, the ad was up and run running. And I think I got one lead that day. The third Thursday, five leads. Boom. And yes. I was like, dude, this guy actually came through with what he said. You know? So yeah, if you're listening to this and you're actually thinking, is it possible? It is. Because I was in your shoes where I was thinking there's no way... You know, this is fluff, but I'm a real guy and I run a business here pretty successful. And with you guys, it's going to be even more. But yes, if you don't have the money, if you don't have the upfront payment, save for it, save for a whole month if you have to and pay that and you will see instant, you'll see your money come back the first within the first month for sure. You know, yes. even, even with the monthly payment and the ad spend, you're still going to make way, way more, you know, so it's like. Okay, you're going to put $1 in, get four, five, six, seven, seven bucks back. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And the cool thing is you came on board the first week of January on the East Coast. We had a big winter storm that came through. So this is definitely possible no matter where you're at in the country. Same with Canada and Australia. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. It just works, right? It just works because we have a solid process. We got the ads dialed in. We have the sales process dialed in. And we're only looking to partner with people who are actually willing to put in the work like you did, right? To learn the sales, to listen to those coaching calls, to hop on the coaching calls, to get that feedback, ask those yeah. questions. All of that compounds. And I think we're just seeing the early effects of it right now. But wait until springtime, man. Wait until summertime. Well, we have the winds at our back, right? The weather's nice. I'm going to have to nuts. Answer. I'm literally thinking on hiring one guy already. One sales guy and one detailer because yes, I can project in three months, I'm going to be slammed with work that I'm yes. going to be booked for months. And to make more, I need to hire more. So a thousand percent. My booking time is shorter. You know? Yes. And we've seen that journey with, man, dozens and dozens and dozens of clients who have already taken that path. They know, we know what the next steps are. We know what kind of roadblocks you might run into and how to solve for them. And like you mentioned earlier, we have a great community of detailers who are just looking to help you, right? Yeah. They're looking to help you. They've been there, even like guys that are doing over 50K plus per month with just codings. They hop on those calls. They're more than willing to connect with you to answer questions. And uh, they're just open books, right? Yeah. They're, they're willing to help. They're open books. They're not keeping any secrets. And it just helps, right? Because yeah. now you get somebody who has been there, who has gone from mobile detailing to mobile coatings to doing coatings in a shop with a team, right? So we have multiple clients who, who have taken that path that are willing to help other guys in similar positions that they were in to just grow. So that's yeah, amazing. They're a little bit up higher on the looking back saying, hey, go this route. This is the yes. tried and true method right here. Do this. Yes. It is like a cheat sheet. It's like a template already laid out for you. You just have to put in the work. Yeah. You just said just jump right in and kind of immerse yourself with everything that we've laid out, all the ads that we've tested, you know, the proven sales process where you just get access to that from day one. And I think that's amazing that people like you, right? Detailers like yourself, just take that information and they run with it. They apply it. They improve on it more, more importantly, because anybody can run ads on Facebook. 
it's not hard. It's not hard. It is for me. You can actually, yeah, you can actually learn that on YouTube. We, we, I've actually made tutorials on how to run ads on Facebook, right? But it's not just the ads, right? It's everything that happens afterwards, the follow-up process, the sales process, the continued improvement. All of that stuff is really where you see that compounding effect that you were talking about, for sure. That's, this is what I was going to say, was in terms of why, or, you know, what would I say to, to someone on the fence, right? Okay, so I read a book by some business guy. I, I read too much, but I think <laughs> his name was Brian Tracy or or someone similar. And they said, when you look at a client or at a lead, right, you you don't view them for the sell right now, right? It's a relationship with them. And over the course of your life with that client, you can make upwards to a million dollars with that one client, right? So the, the, the leads that come in, it's not just about now. You know, it's not just, oh my God, I'm going to make 15,000 this month. No, you know, it's way more than that. Relationships yes. with those people, networking with people, meeting new people, and then a lifelong relationship in business with them that pays thousands be, be beyond just the initial ad, the initial ad spent with, with them. So it's yes. super, it's a super, it's a no-brainer, you know? Yes, 1,000%. And that compounding effect with not just the leads, but everything that happens around it is what we see in the long run, which is amazing because, like I said, later on this year, not only were those will that compound, but it'll compound in a way that will just continue to grow your business pretty much on autopilot, right? Because now you have the advertising bringing in new customers, you're closing those new customers, and now they're referring you to their friend, their coworker, their family member. Or not, not even that, dude. I got two leads. Okay, okay. In three years of business, I got one dude from Instagram, just one. Okay, and I was like, no, there's no way I'm gonna get business. This, this, okay, this guy found me on Instagram. He's a automotive photographer. Okay, and his friend owns a dealership that needs a detailer. They they got at least fifty cars ready to be detailed. At least fifty. Okay. Yeah one solid connection just from a lead okay another dude called me he re he's a classic car restoration body shop yeah and they have a client that has 10 cars that he's hooking me up with on a bi-weekly schedule it's like this, this isn't just one lead you're getting yeah. you're getting networks of people you know it's wow yeah. it's wow so i got i mean i'm gonna be booked yeah yeah and that's just with you right now man like and like you mentioned earlier building a team around that where you're building not only just that great team but a great business right because now you can delegate the work the sales right to where you can take a more like i, I don't mean passive and like you're not doing anything but a less active yeah, a less active role where you're not having, like the business isn't relying on just you, right? right? You have a great team in place. And that, a, was my, that was my next step in growing my business was reaching that point. But to get to that point, I needed the workflow to come in, you know? Yes, yes. Are you familiar with Mike McAlowitz? So his book, Fix This Next, you know, you know how, have you, have you read that book? I haven't read it, no. So um, it's pretty cool. It You take an assessment of your business and it'll tell you what you need to fix to go up onto the pyramid, right? How to reach the top. And, and mine, I al already had like systems in place. I, I already had a couple building blocks. The next one was hiring people. And so back to your first question, uh, what made me go with you guys was realizing that if I want to step back from my business and hire people, I need a steady workflow. That's the main reason, now that I think of it, the main reason to make a difference in my business this year was more workflow so I could hire more people. Yes, yes. And one thing has to happen before 
you work on the next. You know, you need to have a steady flow, a predictable way to get customers. And I think the best way to do that is through advertising. And there's different routes you could do with advertising. Like I was talking with a guy earlier last week where Yelp was funding 80% or bringing him 80% of his customer base, which is great because you don't really hear that too often. But yeah, it, it was working for him. And just having that predictable, basically like a predictable machine where you can just pull the lever and that lever being the ad spend to bring in more leads, you know what your closing rate is and now exactly what that month will look like for you. It becomes less about, I guess, trying to figure it out, right? See, once you have that sales process dialed in, it does become like a numbers game where you just play with the numbers and you can grow your business that way without having to figure it out loud and trying and waiting many, many months. It becomes a numbers game where, hey, let's ramp up the ad budget. Okay, cool. I'm getting more leads now. Same closing rate, but now I'm getting more at the end of the month. Yeah, yeah it's amazing to see. So can you walk me through what the rest of 2024 looks like for your business? Well. I just got off the phone before this call with someone I want to hire because I have an account, literally 30 trucks every three months <laughs> in the schedule. Yes. And I don't want to, I don't want that to be taken or I don't want my time taken away from coding. I already see this year me breaking past 50, 60% over my sales goal for this year, just with the work I already have lined up from the, these ads or these yes. connections I've built. It's only been a little over two weeks too, by the way. I just want to emphasize that because we're not even a full month in. Oh, it's crazy. It's January, right? Typically, this is where a lot of detailers are slow. Are slow. Like yes. in my air area, everyone is slow but me. Isn't that crazy to think about? Yeah, it's like, what? Yeah. It's like you're trying to keep up with the demand that you have coming in to where you're like, hey, okay, getting customers is not a problem anymore. The problem yes. is the team, right? Yes. That right there is the bottom like at the moment to where you can see it. Like if, if it's just you here in like two or three months, you're going to overwhelm yourself, right? You're going to get, you're going to be trying to wear too many hats. So you're already planning ahead, which is amazing. That's definitely my goal. Step back from the business because I, I can't physically do this. I have condition, medical conditions. So I can't physically detail 24-7, you know, every day. Um, so that's one. I love what I do, but I want to step back and do the business side more. Yeah, without a doubt, man. And getting customers is just one piece of that. The next piece is team building. And you have an exciting journey ahead of you, man. Like I said, now, isn't it kind of weird to think about that getting customers is like not even an issue anymore? Yeah, it's crazy. It's it's, it's nice because you're not worrying about how you're going to pay bills and support your family, you know? Yeah. And this is something we teach you, right? This isn't something that we're doing on your behalf. We're not calling the leads for you, right? Where like if we start working together, it doesn't shut down your business, right? Or it doesn't impact your business in a negative way but you still are able to carry these, these fundamentals, the sales process, right? All of that just empowers you and your team to grow beyond whatever route that you want to take. So you get that flexibility of like, this is knowledge that we're giving you that we've already proven and tested, but that you get to keep, right? Nobody can take it away from you once you learn it, once you refine your sales process. And the cool thing is that you can teach this to that sales rep that you're going to bring on board. So now they have a process to go off of and you, you would just tailor it to your business. Dude, love it. That's exciting, man. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. And I'm excited. yeah, man, this is super exciting. 2024 will definitely be, it'll make the last two years look like your business has exploded, <laughs> right? Yeah. Has taken off like a rocket ship. Yeah. And just to recap, came on board January 8th. Within the first week, you had $2,000 of coding jobs booked and, and then a little and coatings and undercoatings as well those are those yes. are like yes <laughs> especially in the well, east coast i had no idea undercoatings were so popular we have a couple undercoating campaigns running right now and it's like hotcakes oh, cool. Cool. <laughs> yeah man so we'll get you dialed in with that we already have it locked in for aaron we have a couple other east coast clients where we're running those undercoating campaigns for and dude we're seeing cost per leads of 
three dollars or less with a low ad budget wow. which is insane so there's definitely demand for it we have the campaign ready to go we'll get that spin up for you and yeah man that's just something we'll we'll just add to it now you have another source of customers coming in right you have your, your ceramic coating campaign and you have your undercoating campaign so now you have two different sources of customers I, you know i cross sell them I give them a discount on the undercoating if they book a coating, you know. Yeah, get your car protected yeah. from top to bottom and underneath. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> love it, man. I think twenty twenty four will be the year where your business completely transforms from just a one man show to a full team to a team that's well oiled, where you're taking a more passive role in your business to where you do become just an owner right? You're not an owner operator. You can just become an owner. You can say, Hey, I want to offer this service next. Let's go ahead and learn more about it. Let's get the training. Let's get this out to our customers without you having to like scramble and try to figure it all out, right? You have a great team in place. You have the advertising behind your back with a predictable way to turn those leads into customers. Awesome, man. Yes. Let's go. I'll wrap things up there. I want to thank you so much for your time. You've been an amazing client. You're exactly the kind of clients that we like to work with, that we love, that I personally love to work with. It just makes it a lot easier for my team where, you know, we're both on the same page. You know, you're, you're a cool client, you're chill, right? And it's amazing that you've been able to get the results that you have in such a short period of time. Yeah, it's cool. I can't awesome, man. The the other half of the month you know, yeah. or triple what I have now. So yeah, <laughs> in the winter, which is crazy to even think about. Awesome, man. I'll wrap things up there. I want to thank you for your time. Is there anything else that you want to add or say to somebody watching this interview? Do it. Just do it. Love it, man. Okay. I'll end things there. Thank you so much for your time again. And um, I'm looking forward to not only the rest of the this month, but three months from now, six months from now. And then looking back in December to really see, man, can you believe that we started with just with just you as a one-man show? And now I imagine by then you'll have a team of two or three employees where you are, you are taking that less active role. So yeah, man, I'm looking forward to it. And I want to thank you for your time. And I'll leave you to it. Alrighty, man. Bye-bye.